<laughs> it's been a tedious and quiet day for us here at the bus. I'm just working on the outside um, body of the bus, making sure everything's sealed up um, and kind of fixing any bumps and cracks with Bondo. This was my first Bondo attempt. It's very thick and it's just uneven. It's not very good. So now I redid some. This still has to be sanded down. So this was a huge hole here. From here all the way down to here. I'm just fixing that up and then right now I'm working on some more holes and cracks here. Not too much going on. Just trying to get things in order. Jordan's um, in the inside working on the electrical dashboard stuff. Hello. Got some of the, getting rid of some of the circuits we don't need. Uh, so what I did was I marked everything um, before I took it all out. And then I put it back together at home, um, kind of went over what we'd be using, what we wouldn't be using, came back here, put it together again to make sure it was functioning properly. And then I just started taking out uh, stuff we didn't need, so uh, like the signal clear, like warning flashers, uh, the buzzard. Um, yeah, basically all we have now is our wipers. We have uh, our wipers, a fan, indicator lights, um, uh, spotlights, and this guy uh, for our washer fluid. Basically I'm just hooking this battery up through this relay to this fuse. Um, maybe I'll like make a video once I actually start assembling it. Right now I'm just testing the circuits making sure Everything's good to go, and I'm just kind of uh, jerry rigging some of these lights to make sure they're functioning. What's jerry rigging? I don't know, but it has rain in it, so. We haven't done too much inside of the bus lately because now that the weather is nice, we want to focus our attention on the outside and sealing everything up, and then also do, um, like cleaning up wires and getting everything in order before we start doing like some of the bigger stuff. So the next couple of vlogs might be a little boring. <laughs> Bye. Ooh, it's hot today. I'm gonna finish up some of my Bondo work. Jordan's working on electrical again. And I gotta do the third coat of um, elastomeric on the roof. So let's check out how my Bondo held up. So yesterday, I, I still have to do um, all this here, but I just quickly sanded it and put some um, rust spray paint over it after I sanded it. Not too bad, not too bad. And then I redid this one because the fiberglass was coming out. Um, yeah. So I just finished painting um, half of the bus with the last Americ paint. Um, normally it's for the roof, so I'm not sure how I feel about having it on the sides of the bus, but I think what we're gonna do is get some, um, high gloss, like, white paint and just go over just the side and keep the roof the way it is, just to make sure it's, like, good to go, because I don't know how it's gonna hold up on the sides. <laughs> Hey Riley, what you doing? I'm a pet bean. You brought the water. You watering the baby flowers? Yeah. Good job. What you doing? Painting. Cool. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, I only recently decided to start taping it off. 
because I, I figured we were going to be painting the rest of it darker anyway, so it didn't matter. But then I was like, you know what, it looks cleaner, so I'm just going to do that. There's uh, quite the difference. Yeah. Still needs a couple of coats, but... Yeah. yeah. Well, I got a giant mess here. Um, I basically took out the old rod. It was huge, uh, bulky. Um, I took out all the fans. I'm obviously using them again, but uh, the other rod used to be right here. That is now over there. I'm gonna have a uh, like dryer vent going up through there. Whoop. The dryer vent coming up through here, splitting off in two. Uh, one's gonna shoot out here towards the uh, seats, and then the other one is gonna for be for the uh, windows there. Um, just shooting up as like a defrost. Also, that is the uh, washer fluid. Um, it was over here at one point. Uh, now I'm just gonna have it under there. Uh, I'm just gonna make this whole part so you can take it off. Just like probably uh, a screw on the bottom or a latch. Um, and just have it like so. I can just pop it off, take the whole thing over there, and then. Um, Daddy, I'm not working. It's not working? Yeah. Let's see. Here you go. Oh, my daughter's obsessed with tape. So, um, what was I saying? So, yeah, um, I just basically moved it over here. Just kept all that stuff in one area. Um, boom, I'm just gonna uh, wire up all this stuff and then once I get it all wired up, maybe I'll like run through it. Um, just kind of the basics of uh, what I did and which switches I'm going to be using. Um, so, yeah, I'm still messing around with this a lot, so it's a lot of work to do here. It's like that Dumb and Dumber scene. Yeah. <laughs> So what are these for? These are for our, I guess, the, the top lights. The like, flashing light? Like the, instead of like the flashers, we're just gonna have uh, like kind of like spotlights. We're changing out this one and this one, from red to white. My cat likes to come through our bedroom window instead of the actual front door. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to pop in real quick and say thank you for watching and I'm sorry that the video is um, going to be a little late. I've just been feeling a little under the weather. Um, so I haven't really had that much motivation to get it done. But um, we are planning on doing a kind of introduction video and um, Q&A video. So if you guys have any questions or suggestions or comments or anything that you want us to answer um, about us or the bus or anything you can think of, leave it down in the comment section below and we will answer them in our next video. Thanks guys. Bye.